Hello everyone, Sam is here from MyForestMagicWave.com making this a small video about uh, recapping the last week ended in uh, to, uh, February 10th. Uh, I wasn't able to make a video for a couple of weeks so I decided to undo it this week. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, just wanted to show a few trades and uh, how I uh, took those trades using Magic IP system. So uh, this is uh, one of them. Uh, they are all random here, you know, between uh, the 7th and the 10th. So this is a, a Euro Yen 20 minute um, based on Euro weakness uh, was uh, in the beginning of the week and then continue the whole week. So all Euro pairs, Euro Aussie, Euro Yen, Euro USD went down. Um, so Euro Yen, this is uh, the entry. And then uh, let's see anything else here, Euro USD. Uh, this one and another on the 10th, I did, and it gave me another entry right around here. Okay. Now this is the beauty of this, you know, this is very simple setup, very simple uh, entries. Um, uh, this is uh, the other one. See, this is the one that I just showed you. It came down all the way and then you know, went up. And there's another entry uh, on the 10th. Euro USD using the same. This, this was an entry, this was an entry, and this was an entry. Simple as that. This entry, if you have taken it, you know, it, you will be at the break even right around here. And then if you don't close, if you close, you would probably make 60, 70 pip. If you don't, then it will take you out at break even. And then right here, this this entry again, and it went down. Right, uh, so it's 0697 and this is 0627. So from here to here, maybe like around 60, 65. Again, okay. okay. Uh, another one is uh, pound Aussie. Uh, pound Aussie uh, based on pound strength. I mean, Aussie strength. Okay, Aussie is keep getting strong and then sending Euro Aussie and pound Aussie to the downside. And Aussie and to the upside. So this is uh, pound Aussie uh, again. Simple, same, same setup. This was an entry here and uh, a trade. Uh, I, I think I didn't. I forgot to record that one. And then it went up and very nice entry here, and it came down. Another one, pound yen. Okay, pound yen. This is a. This was an entry around this on the sixth. Okay, this is on the sixth um, on a fr on Friday. No, not Friday. Uh, maybe in the Monday, Monday, right? Yeah, early uh, Saturday. Uh, I mean Sunday or Monday. But anyway, so it started all the way down with the yen strength uh, coming in. Uh, it went down all the way. Uh, literally went up, by the way. But you know, this is how it is. You, you need to know then when it is going to the, you know, making a lower swing or the higher swing when it's making a turn. So the price was above the wave, it came down nicely, and then it start giving the entries. I forgot to take this one. I, I missed this one, but then I took this one. But you had another one here. If you miss this one, you have here. You have here. You know, all very, very good system. Very precise. Uh, this one again. This is on the tenth. You can see when it went up again. After that drop, it went up all the way here to forty-two thirteen, and that's uh, uh, you know these are the highs and lows. See, this is WL means weekly low. It's a very big weekly low where after a long distance uh, uh, going up or down, when the pair hits a level like that, it reacts. So this is the reaction. And this is uh, on the 10th USD franc, USD, uh, Euro USD goes down, USD franc goes up. That's the opposite. Nothing special about it. And this is Euro Aussie. Like I said, Euro weakness and Aussie strength uh, send this pair all the way to the downside. This is uh, the end. This was an entry. This uh, the one I took. This is the entry, and this was a, a, again a very good entry. Now, this entry, not uh, so I recorded the chart on the tenth. This entry would be on the ninth. Okay, but this is the one that I'm showing. Is this one right here? You see, all this time from here to here, or from here to here, you don't have to worry about anything because un un unless this indicator goes all the way to the upside, you don't. Okay. When it goes all the way to the upside and turning to the downside and then candle turns the, the color, only then you make an entry. So the entry was here, the entry was here, the entry was here, the entry was here. You can see how precise and this entry was here. Blue, blue, blue going into the wave and then coming back with red and you get returns to the downside. So precise, precise entries. This trade so far from here to here is 180 pips. 
Anything else here on the seven euro yen? This is all I start uh, to show. And uh, for example, euro yen. Let me let me show you one thing. Yeah, euro uh, Aussie. Why did I take this and, and, and any other uh, short? Why not long? So let me show you my uh, long term charts uh, based uh, on which uh, I base on my uh, uh, my trading. Uh, for example, this is a uh, Euro Aussie long term chart, which when I was here on a 43.97, almost 44, the target was here that, you know, we will be coming down here. So uh, you start taking shorts uh, only. And then as of last Friday, as of in fact, today, 11th February, we are here. Okay, so we wobbled a little bit here, up and down and up and down. So you, there were a long entries, there were short entries. So what we do is uh we if once we know the long term uh, long term chart uh, and i have a long term chart weekly and monthly and weekly charts for almost all the pairs made already and know the where the direction is where we are going for example uh if see this one uh this is the t you know the support 4340 4258 if we start going to the upside i would be taking long and target would be this area if we break below these two numbers then I will be taking short and the target would be this area 3850 or 3801 3675 right and this tier and we still there's still room to go uh, if we if you take a look at this euro uh, this is gold uh, euro aussie i show you that we where do we stand on that I have too many things open, so taking time. Okay, here this is, and then uh, where is the 40 minute chart. Okay, so we are nicely coming down here. This is a 40 minute chart, and 3801 is this line, and 3675 is this. So we have a little more room to go, and then we will see where it goes. Maybe it will bounce, uh, euro hold, or maybe we will go continue. Euro is getting very weak, by the way, so we may go down a lot more on this pair. So this is. Uh, what I have already, and I have like uh, indexes and uh, everything else. Uh, for example, Euro index. If I show you that why I think that Euro USD will be going down. See, this is my chart. I made it a long time ago. Okay, uh, when it's, it was here. So if we go above, we go here. If we go down below this number, then we will go, be going down. If we're going down, this is Euro index means Euro will be getting weaker. And if your Euro is weaker, Euro Yen, Euro USD, Euro Aussie, Euro anything will go down. Understand? Euro Pound, Euro Pound is also going down. So this is how, uh, and my chart, um, where it goes? So this was also another, uh, you know, Elliott Wave Triangle. I made this chart a long time ago. On the 16th, the 21st December, of the you know, 2016, that we're gonna drop. So it went up a little bit, just testing the backside of this T, rising TL, and then it start dropping. And if it continue, we need AB is equal to CD. Uh, we have a long way to go to the downside. So if Euro goes that way, if we break this line, if we break below uh, 1640, 1640 is the key. So that means Euro is getting weaker. And you, what do you do? go and look at the euro pairs all the euro pairs will be going down so pick and choose which one is going more faster giving you more precise entries on my 40 minute chart and this is how it looks on the 40 minute chart the euro index you know the 1920 we, we went up we bounced from area this area we came down and now we are going nicely so 1640 and 1633 is right here we may bounce then make another short setup then continue to the downside so this is how it is. Okay. So these were the trades uh, you just saw. The CD Euro Aussie, uh, Euro is, uh, index keep going down, and Euro Aussie keep going down. This way. Several entries, several entries. All right. So this is it for now. Uh, if you like uh, what you see, um, then you can go to my website, uh, www.myforexmagicwave.com. And it's right here, right? And then you can subscribe. Uh, I'll give you all these uh, indicators. The EA, the, there is an alarm EA. This is, the, this is I'm using to make an entry. Uh, this is the one I don't give out to anybody. This is my uh, thing uh, <clears throat> and uh, very expensive thing.
it opens up uh, trades, but I have to be uh, half automatic, half manual. So that's the danger with this. That's why I don't give it out to anyone because uh, it's very hard to handle. Okay, if you don't pay attention and if you're sleeping and the trade opens up and if it's a wrong trade, you need to close it immediately. So uh, it's a little tricky, but there's an alarm, the same indicator, but instead of opening the trade, it beeps. Okay, for example, this one, you see this little arrow? It is this EA, open this trade. Okay, and uh, same thing. But what, what I have is that this whole system with the alarm means when this set setup is there, the alarm is going to beep. And you can come and take the, uh, uh, the, the trade, right? For example, if I give you a long-term chart saying that Euro franc is going to go up, yeah? But this in alarm is start beeping when this you have a short setup. But I'm saying that this thing is going to go up, so we're looking for only long. Then we don't take that trade. Okay, We don't take the short side. We only take the long side. Here, it took the long side. right? By this time, it, it goes here. I'm on a break even, but it comes down, and then, you know, no big deal. No hard feeling, right? This is how it is. But this time, it went up. So, uh, you know, even here, you see this. It gave me a long setup. All right, it opened it up, but I closed it and it went down. So this is how um, uh, how it is. Uh, and and uh, the one I give you is the alarm. Okay, so all the indicators to open up these kind of candles, the alarm, and uh, you'll get the access to my all previous webinars. There are thousands, uh, not thousands, hundreds of webinars recorded on my website, previous webinars recording. I did the webinar today as well so you know and then uh, gave out uh, all this you know important things of what's going to happen next week all the charts all the pairs uh, you know all the analysis and which uh, uh, trade we will be looking for and uh, when the market opens up we will see okay so this is how it is so uh, like i said if you like to join you know go on my website subscribe and be a part of it and start learning thanks for watching have a great day